Welcome to the Math Planet, your fast math guide. Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to count on to subtract on a number line. So let's get started. Hi, I am Jojo. In this video, I will show you how to subtract by counting on using a number line. In my previous video, I used the number line to subtract by counting back, which means I started at the greater number and jumped backwards towards the lesser number. Today, I will use a different strategy to subtract on the number line. I will use the number line, but I will start from the lesser number and jump forward towards the greater number. So I will be counting on. So this is what we will do for today's lesson, counting on to subtract using a number line. How can I solve this subtraction equation by counting on? First, I will mark the start point at part 1, which is the lesser number in the subtraction equation. Next, I will mark the end point at the whole, which is the greater number in the subtraction equation. Finally, I'll just count the number of steps from start to end, and this will be the answer or the difference. Let's try to solve this example, 11 minus 3. My start point will be at 3, and my end point is at 11. So I will mark 3 as my start point, and 11 as my end point, and I will count the number of steps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So 11 minus 3 equals 8. Let's try one more example, 14 minus 5. My start point is at 5. My end point is 14. So I will mark 5 and 14. Next, I will just count the number of jumps I will make. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 jumps. So 14 minus 5 equals 9. Now, can you help me to solve this last example? 12 minus what equals 7? I need to start at some point on the number line, and my end point is at 12, while the difference is 7. In order to use the counting on strategy, I need to have a start point. So I will solve 12 minus 7 equals what? I will start at 7 and end at 12. So my start point will be at 7, my end point is at 12, and I will just count the number of steps in between. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 steps. So 12 minus 7 equals 5. This means that 12 minus 5 equals 7. To sum up what we learned for today's lesson, today we learned how to perform subtraction by counting on using a number line. In order to do so, I mark the start point at the lesser number in the subtraction equation and mark the end point at the whole, which is the greater number in the equation. Then I count the number of steps from the start point to the end point and this will be the difference. That's all for today's lesson. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos. See you later. Bye.